Hello everyone, and welcome to another Let's Play of The Crown and the Flame, Book 3, Chapter 9 of 17. Dom must do everything in his power to resist Hex's mind control. Can he defeat his demons once and for all and save Kenna's life? Which I would surely hope so, because I don't actually find Dom's mental struggles as interesting as the political intrigue and whatever Raiden is doing right now. So yes, let's hope we can s fix this. <laughs> the last chance. Now playing as Dom. Under Hex's control, you're nearly defeated, trying to resist Shadow Kenna with the last of your strength. So I guess we've been fighting Shadow Kenna since we left off Dom several chapters ago. I won't give in. I won't give up. There's no need for rage, Dom. You're nearly there. Just do this one last thing for me, and it'll all be over. Go ahead. Show me something horrible. I'll break free. I'll still find the good in whatever it is. Now why would I show you something horrible? After all, I love you, Dom. You... You're holding Kenna by the hand, leading her through the forest. Well, I am kind of fond of you. Kind of fond? Wait, this is when we met in the forest before the battle against Luther. This is a memory, a good memory. Dominic Hunter, have you lost your mind? Did Say knock you upside the head during your training? No, uh, I just... This isn't real. Let me go. You cry out and the world around you begins to crumble. Now. Kenna's face transforms, growing dark and gaunt before your eyes. No. You're standing at the edge of a precipice on the mountainside. Your jaws inches from biting into Kenna. Kenna, I, where am I? What's going on? Kenna clutches at her side, blood running down the side of her mouth. Kenna, was that, did I? It's nothing. I'm so sorry. Dom, listen to me. Hex is still controlling you somehow. If you let us capture her, we can force her to release you. She's using the device on the back of my neck. You have to... With a flash, you find yourself back in Hex's mind control prison. Kenna, standing before you. No, I need to go back. Let me go. No one's stopping you, Dom. If you want to go back, then go. I should... will myself back. Concentrating, you find yourself back in reality, one claw raised, ready to crush Kenna like an insect. I'm back? Dom? Quick, Kenna, you have to cut it out. You b bow, bringing your neck down to Kenna's height so that she can reach the device. She nods, moving to stand just behind you. I understand. Hold still. I can't wait to be myself again. It's been so long. That it has, but... Well, I'm sorry, Dom. Huh? Tendrils of smoke coil around Kennel as she raises her sword. What? She brings her sword down with all her might, slicing clean through your neck. Whoa. And you find yourself back in Hex's mind control prison, Shadow Kenna laughing over you. Quit playing games with my mind. Games? Oh, Dom, the game hasn't even started yet. That was just the setup. This is the real game. You're back on the mountainside and see Kenna running toward you as she raises her sword. 
Terrified, you lash out with your claw, slamming her backward. Ugh! Kenna flies back, her body skidding to a stop at the edge of the cliff. You stomp towards her. Get out of my head! Tom, wait! This isn't in your head! This is real! You hesitate, a sliver of doubt creeping in. Prove it! Prove you're the real Kenna! Okay, okay! Uh, just let me think. Oh, when we were kids, there was that guard son that always picked on you. Caleb? I remember him. You're just using my memories against me. Let me finish. Do you remember why he stopped tormenting you? I... no. He just stopped one day. He stopped because I... I threatened to have him executed. You what? No wonder he ran in the other direction whenever he saw you. He was hurting my friend. I did the only thing I could think of. Is that enough proof for you? Do you trust me now? I should trust her. You bow your head, exposing the back of your neck to Kenna's sword. Are you sure? We don't know how this thing works. Removing it could kill you. I trust you, Kenna. Then let's get this thing out of you once and for all. Kenna wedges her sword underneath the metal device, throwing her weight down on the blade handle. You feel the device begin to lift, steel prongs ripping at your skin. This might hurt. You think? Kenna pushes down as hard as she can on the blade handle, and the device finally tears free of her neck. Ah! Your world becomes an explosion of sparks, and you feel yourself falling. You regain your human form as you hit the ground. In the next instant, Kenna is at your side. Tom, are you all right? Tell me you're all right. I'm... I'm all right. I'm back, Kenna. I'm also going to pass out now. Go right ahead. You've earned a little rest. You rest your head in Kenna's lap, and she reaches down to gently stroke your hair. Smiling, you drift into a warm, healing sleep. Now playing is Whitlock. Watching through the airship's tall windows, you breathe a long sigh of relief as you watch Ken attending to an unconscious Dom. They did it. Thank goodness. You scan the scenery, spotting Diavolos and Jackson helping a battered Say climb out of the chasm. Excellent. Everyone's accounted for, except for Annalise and... You pause as a flash of movement catches your attention. Looking closer, you catch sight of a tall figure just as it disappears behind a ridge. Hex. Hex. Without another thought, you turn and sprint down the airship ramp. You hit the stone path and keep running. Whitlock? Wh hey, stop! You barely register their shouting. You continue to run, catching brief glimpses of Hex between the rocks. All reason has left you, all clever calculations and logic. The only thing you feel is rage. You're not getting away this time. You follow Hex to her airship, eventually finding your way to her lab. Inside, Hex rifles through shelves and cabinets, throwing their contents to the floor. Where did I put it? Blasted girl has to pay. I'll send her screaming to the bottom of the... Aha! Hex retrieves a compact crossbow from a shelf and turns to leave, then sees you standing in the doorway. She stops dead in her tracks. Willock, when did you... Hex looks down at the crossbow in her hand, suddenly dropping it on the floor and backing away. You... you were there? Did you see? I saw everything. How could you do it, Hex? How could you? Oh, there's a lot of those. Toy with Dom's mind. 
try to murder Kenna, destroy Aurelia. All of those things are bad. Um... I feel like Whitlock would be most upset about the mind control. I mean, all of those things are bad. But I, I do feel like he would consider that a perversion of science. So, how could you toy with Dom's mind? You always said we should be allowed to think freely. But you tortured and bent Dom's mind to your own will. I, I know it was terrible, but I needed the dragon under my control. I needed his power to further the... Stop. Just stop. Do you even hear yourself? Can you even see how far you've fallen from reason? I've fallen from reason? What about you, O oh leader of the technocrats? What about the weapons you've made for Queen Kenna? Oh, you did your best to make them non-lethal at first. And I recognized your handiwork on those ballistas, too. Are you so naive as to think no one died when you shot my airships out of the sky? I know exactly how many died. You bend down, snatching Hex's crossbow from the ground and leveling it at her chest. I looked at Luther's troop manifest. I did the math. I calculated exactly how many lives were lost because you forced me to play by your rules. Hex stares at the crossbow, then into your eyes. Your hands are trembling, but your aim does not waver. Whitlock, you wouldn't. Not that. Why not? I'm already complicit in hundreds of deaths. If this is the only way to stop you, then this is what I have to do. But first, I need to know. Are you happy with what I've become? Because of you, I've compromised every principle I hold dear. Are you happy now? Is this what you wanted? Tears begin to glisten in Hex's eyes. My sweet boy, no, I never wanted this for you. All I ever wanted was to protect you from the evils of this world. Your grip tightens on the crossbow. If that was really your design, then it's been a spectacular failure. I... I... Hex collapses to her knees, tears streaming down her face. When you banished me, I was just so lost. I fell even deeper into my work. I told myself that once you saw my better world, you'd understand. I should never have taken you in, but you were so bright and so brave. I thought maybe if you never saw who I really was. Hex suddenly reaches for the long silver dagger at her belt. Stop! I'll pull this trigger, I swear. No, you won't. In what quick motion, Hex unsheathes her dagger and holds it against her own throat. Hex, what are you... I won't let my sweet boy become a murderer. Just promise me. Promise that you won't follow the same path that I did. Promise me that you'll stay my sweet boy. The crossbow clatters to the ground as you lunge forward, slapping the dagger out of Hex's hand. Whitlock! I... You feel tears building in your eyes. Slowly, pleadingly, Hex reaches out and you let her gather you into a hug. You return the embrace and Hex clings to you like a drowning woman, sobbing against your shoulder. I missed you so much, Whitlock. Can you ever forgive me? Hex. I don't even know what the right answer is. I, okay, I really appreciate that this scene grappled with Whitlock building lethal weapons. Because I actually did complain that that felt kind of unresolved. That at first he was very pacifist and then it was like, okay, I build lethal weapons now. And, and we never really dealt with that. No, look, there it is. We just dealt with that. But it's hard for me to see Hex as any kind of redemption narrative because... Oh, 
her whole character up to this point has been someone who destroys because she can, because she wants to, and she wants to see what happens. She's like a, a child who crushes things because she wants to see the destruction. But without the excuse of being a child, she knows exactly what she's doing. So, I just, and my strategy guide doesn't say what I'm supposed to answer, so I'm gonna say I don't know. You've done so many terrible things, Hex. I know, but I swear I'll spend the rest of my life trying to make it right. Hex pulls away, clasping your hands in hers. I'll release the rest of the technocrats right away. I'll surrender my ship, all my weapons and inventions. Then just take me to Queen Kenna and I'll throw myself on her mercy. I know that's not close enough, but... Hex trails off, her eyes showing fear, desperation, and a gleam of hope. It's a start. After being startled awake by shouting, you watch Say, Jackson, and a man you don't recognize chase off after Whitlock. Kenna retrieves one of your spare tunics from her airship, and you wince as she helps you into it. Hex, what I wouldn't give to be going after her right now. Don't even think about it. I'm not about to let you die from exhaustion after all the work I put into saving you. Besides, do you really want to get between Say and Hex now? I swear I saw flames shooting from Say's eyes. <laughs> not really. Anyway, once Say drags Hex's probably lifeless body back here, what's the plan? We fly back to Stormholt and prepare for battle. Battle? Is it that time already? I feel like there's usually more lead up. Well, usually you don't spend several weeks trapped inside a technocrat mine prison. True. So, what I miss while I was out? Actually, we all ran away to join a band of traveling minstrels. I'm a juggler now. Come on, tell me. What happened after we defeated Luther? Who are we fighting in this battle you mentioned? There's... there's a lot. Can we leave all that until later? Sure. Kenna nods gratefully, and you can sense the deep hurt barely contained within her. You know, I always thought you were missing your calling as a juggler. No, <laughs> you should have told me sooner. Could have saved me a lot of trouble. Kenna, the past few... Weeks? Months? However long. It's been hard. For a while, I thought I wouldn't make it. Dom. You reach out, wrapping your arm around Kenna's shoulders. But you... I did make it, thanks to you. You brought me back, Kenna. I'm forever grateful for that. Oh? And how do you plan to show your gratitude? Well, for starters... How about I... Oh, no. Are they gonna make me romance him just to get full army points? Come to your room tonight. I just don't buy the romance between them. I think they work better as friends. Kenneth grins slyly at you. Are you sure you'll be well enough for that so soon? I wouldn't want to slow your recovery. You smile back as you pull Kenneth toward you, kissing her fiercely. I'm feeling better already. Well then, I'll make sure to wait up for you. You hear rocks sliding down the slope nearby. Kenneth springs to her feet, one hand on her sword. Who's there? Scanning the gray landscape, you quickly spot a flash of gold emerging from behind a boulder. Just a few friends. Did we win? Kenna rushes over and the two women share an embrace. Behind Annalise, you see a long line of people emerging from a hidden opening in the mountain. Annalise must have snuck into the city to evacuate her people. Painfully, you get to your feet and walk over to Kenna and Annalise. Manage to evacuate a few thousand, and they should have enough supplies to last for a week or more. You're amazing, Annalise. I can't believe you saved so many. 
I'm just happy I didn't get lost in the mines. I haven't been down there in ages. My people will need a place to stay until the city is rebuilt. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them all. Why don't they... Apparently, camp in the grasslands is the right answer. Not the one I would have guessed. There's plenty of space. It's far from the fighting. And there are woods nearby where they can hunt or forage for food. Good thinking, Dom. Yes, that sounds like the best option for now. I'll let my people know. Annalise glances at you, a pained look flashing across her face. I... please excuse me. Annalise moves away to speak to a woman in an ash-covered gown. Gods, Annalise must hate me so much. Of course she doesn't hate you. We all know Hex was the one in control. Still, it must be hard for her to even look at me. I know I can hardly bear to look at her in the eye after what happened. Just go talk to her. She's tougher than you think. Maybe that's what I'm afraid of. You walk over to Annalise and tap her on the shoulder. Hmm? Oh, hello, Dom. Did you need something? Annalise, I just want you to know. I'm so sorry. Dom, you don't have to apologize. I know it wasn't really you that did this. I know it wasn't, but I was still there. I could see it happening. I could hear the screams, see the buildings burn. I could feel... Your voice breaks and you realize your whole body is shaking. You clench your teeth, balling your hands tightly into fists. I just... I feel like I failed. Dom, no. Annalise grabs you by the shoulders. Dom, this was not your fault. Do you hear me? None of it. Say it. It wasn't my fault? Annalise pulls you into a tight embrace. You hug her back, tears welling up in your eyes. Thank you, Annalise. Thank you, Dom, for doing what you could. It's going to be all right. Look, the others are back. You and Annalise let each other go. Down the path, you see your friends returning with a shackled hex in tow. Well, look who it is. So glad I get to finally see you in chains. Seriously, this sight is making my day. Hex bows her head, her jaw clenching. Hex surrendered voluntarily. Please listen to what she has to say. Whitlock nods encouragingly to Hex, who takes a deep breath, then drops to one knee. I... I wanted to make a better world. And I believed that I was the only one who knew how. I believed the ends would justify my terrible means. But if Whitlock, the most intelligent and good-hearted person I have ever met, thinks I am wrong, then I must entertain the possibility. I offer my loyalty and service to Queen Kenna Reese of Stormhold, should she wish to accept it. Oh? And what possible reason would I have to accept that offer? I'll make weapons for you, or whatever other devices you wish. Kenna turns to Whitlock. What do you have to say about this? Hex has shown true remorse for her actions. I believe she should be given the opportunity to make up for some of the evil she's done. Furthermore, I believe she intends to do just that. Watch. At Whitlock's gesture, Hex walks over to where Anton sits docile on a boulder. Anton, you need no longer obey my commands. Blackspine, Iron, Fortune, Bear. At the sound of the odd phrase, Anton gives a sudden jump, looking around as if waking from a dream. I... You! Anton lunges at Hex, but Jackson brings him up short. Release me. She has to pay for what she's done. Friend, if you want to go after that lady, you're going to have to wait in line. 
Nice gesture. Not sure I'm convinced, though. If we look at the situation pragmatically, I believe Hex will make a difference in the battle ahead. If she doesn't decide to blast us all into a million tiny pieces. Well, I say we bring her. Who knows what sorts of contraptions Azura will bring to the fight? Since when does he get a vote? Someone want to tell this guy how alliances work? I, for one, would enjoy keeping this harpy as a pet. Say bears her teeth at Hex. Perhaps if she is well behaved, I will let her eat my table scraps. If the witch goes with you, then I will come as well. I want to keep an eye on her. Kenneth thinks for a long while, then turns to look at you. What do you think, Dom? So our options are to recruit Hex and Anton, or lock Hex in a cage, Hex in a cage and lose the key. I don't like Hex. I don't trust her. I do think that there needs to be some kind of reparations for the horrible, horrible things that she's done. I also have to admit that many of the horrible things she has done, she did under the orders of Luther and of Rocky, and apparently he's our best friend now, so if we can forgive him long enough to work with him, I guess we can forgive Hex long enough to work with her. Um, I don't see this ending well, but we're gonna go for it. It's about time Hex did something that actually helped people. Very well. Hex nods eagerly, bowing her head. I hereby swear my loyalty to Queen Kenna Reese of Stormholt. Good enough. Whitlock, you'll keep an eye on Hex. I will. Thank you. I also pledge my loyalty to Queen Kenna. I am eager to lend my strength to a worthy cause once more. It'll be an honor to fight by your side, Anton. Anton nods to you, then turns towards Say. The two warriors lock eyes, their faces studiously blank. Then Say steps forward and pulls Anton into a fierce hug. It's good to see the man I know behind those eyes. It's good to be myself again. Nearby, Whitlock undoes Hex's shackles, and the two of them begin to walk toward the airship, but stop in their tracks as Annalise moves to block the way. Just a moment, if you wouldn't mind. Hex's eyes widen in realization. You're the ruler of... I'm so sorry for what I did. I want you to know that I... Hex is cut off as Annalise backhands her heart across the face. Oh. Sorry? You're sorry? Annalise slams her knee into Hex's stomach, then shoves her to the ground. Annalise! Hex slowly gets to her feet, wincing as she wipes blood from her split lip. Well? I... I suppose I deserve far worse than that. Yes, you do. But blood is just so hard to wash out of silk. Annalise smooths her gown as she steps aside, letting Hex pass. Is it just me, or has Annalise gotten a lot scarier lately? Remind me to tell you what she threatened to do on he to Hex on the way here. Now let's be on our way. I want to reach Stormhold as quickly as possible. Oh good, that's the end of the chapter. Maybe? Oh no. I was, see, I was going to say, they didn't make us do the <laughs> meeting with Dom, but nope, they're going to make us meet with Dom. Later that night, you wait until the last of the crew heads off to bed. Then, pulsing with excitement, you climb the ladder leading up to Kenna's room. Please no. You lift the trapdoor and climb in. Took you long enough. Kenna's lying across the bed. Candlelight from the bedstand illuminating her, the light playing along her every curve. Kenna, you look... I should compliment her. <laughs> like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Or ever will see. <laughs> I see being brainwashed didn't make you any less smooth. You catch a tinge of longing in Kenna's eyes. I've missed you, Dom. 
almost more than I could bear. I've missed talking to you in the late hours when everyone else has gone to sleep. And I've missed... She trails off. Even in the dim light, you catch a blush in Kenneth's cheeks. Pretty sure I know what you're going to say. Oh, you do, do you? You've missed... My hilarious sense of humor. Who else could possibly make you blush so much? Other than, of course, you fantasizing about all the slow, unbearable, tantalizing ways I'm going to make you laugh. Are you having fun torturing me? I am. You move close to Kenna, sitting on the bed beside her, and take her hand in yours. I've missed you too, Kenna. You've gone through so much. I'm sure I was the farthest thing from your mind. Quite the opposite, actually. What I want to say is, every step I took to resist Hex, every effort to break free of her prison, it was all done to get here. It was all done to be with you. Oh, Tom. You lean forward, brushing your lips against Kenna's. She runs her hand along the back of your neck, pulling you tight against her. It's been too long. Way too long. More importantly, why are you still wearing clothes? Oh, right. What was I thinking? You reach down, pulling your tunic off. This better? Much. Your body is pressed against each other. You begin to run your hand up Kenna's thigh. She stops you. What is it? I was wondering, could you, you know, use your power to... Interesting. You want me to make things a little hotter? Just as long as you don't turn into a dragon. I don't think the ship could take it. The ship is definitely not my first concern. You run your hands along her skin, your fingertips heated by your power, somewhere on the edge between warm and burning. Kenna arches against you, her breath quickening. Oh, Dom, don't stop. I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon. Ooh, fade to black. <laughs> the next day, your airship lands in the fields in front of Stormhold. You pause for a moment as you disembark, looking up at the castle. Yep, that's a castle. It feels like it's been forever. Does the castle look smaller to you? Maybe a little. As you walk up the path, a soldier hurries out of the castle to meet you. Welcome home, your majesty. Thank you. How go the battle preparations? Half of your forces have returned from their stations across the Five Kingdoms. The rest should arrive in the next few days. All castle servants and nearby villagers have been evacuated to towns further east to keep them clear of the fighting. Good plan. I thought so. Any news from Fedoria? Not yet, but lookouts have spotted Val's airship on the horizon. She should be here within the hour. Perfect. Have her meet me in the throne room. Hope she brought some soldiers with her. We'll need all the help we can get. You enter the throne room, which is bustling with activity. Looks like the planning began without us. Let's see if we can get caught up. Someone taps you sharply on the shoulder and you turn to see a familiar face. Well, look who's here. You're looking better than the last time I saw you. Madeline, you made it. You pull the old woman into a hug and she chuckles, patting you on the back. Sure did, though I can't say I'll be taking that little stroll again anytime soon. You couldn't have tossed a pack horse out with me. Next time I'll remember. Kenna, I want you to meet Madeline. She's the reason I was able to break free from Hex's control. Kenna smiles, clasping Madeline's hands. Then I'm in your debt, Madeline. Psh, it was worth it just to watch Hex's blood pressure spike. What are you still doing here? This place won't be safe for much longer. The battle. I heard about all that business, and that's why I'm still here, where I'm needed. Thank you. I feel better knowing you're around to take care of us. Don't get all mushy on me, kid. Just point me in the direction of your infirmary. Kenna flags down a soldier, and he leads Madeline away. I like her. I thought you might. A few minutes later, you and Kenna are reviewing battle plans when the door to the throne room bursts open. Val storms in, followed by a small crowd. 
Where is she? Where's Kenna? I need to... Val flinches, clutching her chest. Gods, Val, slow down. Oh, goodness. Will someone please bring a chair? I think she's pulled out her stitches. Can't Val, my god, what happened? Azura took Fedoria. We never had a chance. We... Val suddenly wavers, and you and Kenna can barely catch her before she falls over. Val, you need to rest. You're hurt. What I need is to pull Raiden's guts out through his ears. He betrayed us, Kenna. Raiden works for Azura now. Val's words feel like a sharp blow to the back of your head. Stunned, you turn to look at Kenna, whose face has gone deathly pale. This can't be. Raiden, you're going to pay for this. That's the end of the chapter. You were able to break free of Hex's mind control prison. You had a heart to heart with Hex. She's forever changed her ways. Forgive me if I'm a little skeptical about that. You accepted Hex's pledge of loyalty. Her technological genius will be a major asset in the battle to come. Anton has decided to fight on your side. You spent the night with Kenna. Yeah. Val returns bearing bad news. Azura has taken Fedoria and Raiden has turned against you. And here's Hex and, and Anton on the list. And I still think Diavolo... No, that's too many letters. I don't know who it is then. Um, boom. I really feel like... I didn't see what we got for choosing the diamond path to, to spend the night with Kenna but it looked like we got something like legend points or army points or something and if so then I'm going to be frustrated because I do hate the fact that in a choose your own adventure novel at least one of the romances is being pushed as the correct option if you want to get the full points I, I don't like that um, <laughs> I don't know if you get a choice at the end of who you marry but I 100% totally plan to choose Raiden if that's allowed so <laughs> i mean i like dom don't get me wrong but i feel like he works way better as a childhood friend for kenna as opposed to her one true love so um <laughs> but that's just me and um so that was the end of chapter nine we've got eight chapters left and we're just raring down this highway of of completion. <laughs> My name is Anna Myrtle and I'll see you in the next Let's Play video. Bye-bye.